Good morning, guys. So my brother woke me up out of a deep slumber. It took me a while to get actually straight. And <laughs> because I had woke up out of a straight slumber and got to talking to him, I totally forgot about my doctor's appointment that my phone had a reminder and an alarm to go off. Well, I missed that doctor's appointment. He came over with his kayaks. So now that I missed that, I'm heading out. And that's the goofy bastard right there that made me miss my doctor's appointment because we were BSing. His alarm was set and I woke him up anyways. And way and ahead of it. Blaming it on me. Yeah, he woke me up way ahead of time without the reminder. Oh, so it's because we were talking he didn't have common sense as an adult should. Yeah. I'm pretty playing much. with crayons over here. Look, look at me. I'm coloring with crayons, by the way. Martin's right a here. special boy. Martin's a very special boy. It's, it's, it, it's, this is a clog of dirt. No, actually it's Kalichi. Kalichi, a uh, 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 pissed off part of clay. Um, no, actually it's a type of clay. I know, <laughs> but I can write on this. I colored the whole side of the block, turn it off. Well, we just hit a deer, but it doesn't look too bad. We're going to drive back go over to the spot, but uh, we haven't even made it to kayak yet. Oh, there's the deer. I bet. No? He pulled over yeah, real quick. Yeah, this is all rails, so it must have been right after this rail. Yeah, I didn't drive that far. Uh -uh. No, it was pretty quick. You pulled over pretty quick. So we were running right along here when the deer came out. I looked, I was looking at him. When I felt it, I was like, damn, what'd you hit? And he's like, that was a deer. Okay. I, it was happened so quick, I didn't right even there. see it. Yeah, here we are, poor little deer. Looks like there's um tracking monitor on this guy it's been tagged and everything crazy bummer man must have come right out of there especially how quick it happened Well, there's not much we can do about it. You deer murderer, murdering the deer. Did you see it's tagged? Oh. It's tagged and had a monitor on it. Hmm. So what do you do with that? I don't know. I don't know if you do anything. Just stopped off here at the Avery Jail. Deer murderer over here, we're gonna put him in there. Go for it, buddy. Trying to lock you in there. That's what you get for hitting deer. <laughs> <laughs> you opened it before I could lock it. <laughs> Trying to push me in there and latch it. <laughs> so you said the train's cool or no? Yeah. yeah. All right, come on in into the train. Oh, this would be kind of cool to chill out in, huh? When you're out traveling, can you imagine? I, that's something I want to do someday. I want to definitely get out there and- uh, Water up! I want to definitely get out there and do some kind of uh, train ride across the entire United States. You know what I mean? 
so this is what the kitchen looked like in this, huh? So did you say this was a restaurant or do you think this was like this in the beginning? Ooh. The hell am I? Expert? No. You're not even an expert at farting. Or did you become an expert on that? Yeah, I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> good job. All aboard! Get off. <laughs> it was on the Chicago, Milwaukee, and Puget Sound Railway, huh? <laughs> Look at this, we got the RV style Java joint. Java on the Joe? I feel like I should just go get coffee just because it was an RV trailer. All right, guys, <laughs> so we are going to pop this open. This is the bracket for my tow setup on the car. It's a blue ox one, it's supposed to fit specifically on my car. So I need to pop it open, see what I'm going to have to have get myself so I can install it. So this must have all the hardware. I'll look at that. Ooh, that is heavy. And then this is the actual unit that connects to the car. Well, the product component list here makes me think it should be not much harder than the toe bracket that I put on, well not toe bracket, um, the toe receiver I put on the van back in the day. All right guys, I'm gonna pop this open, see what's in it. I know I'm gonna have to get jack stands. I cannot reach up underneath that car worth of crud. And uh, if I'm gonna get jack stands, I'm gonna get a legit jack. I'll get a setup that would handle this at least the front of this RV. I opened it up. The tools are not a big deal. Um, but the problem is, is right here on the beginning of the directions, it's saying that there's drilling required. And as soon as there's drilling required or welding, then what you end up in a situation where there's a lot of liability for insurance purposes. And I don't want to have a situation where if there's an access, my insurance, an accident that my insurance won't pay for it that's kind of a bummer i was uh i was hoping to do this myself and save some dough i still got some stuff i need to get done to the rv before i make a long trip in it and i need to get my tow setup installed on my car before i can go and do anything i was hoping to start this government job that i've been spending like probably the last i don't know month maybe month and a half trying to get um just going through the background checks and the different hoops you got to jump through for the process to get your what they call rad id number and all this stuff well i got it i got everything square and then the manager that would be over me told me i have to go to san diego if to basically get started in it. That I can work in Washington, I can work in states other than up here, but, I mean other than down there, but I have to start down there, at least for a week or so. Well, my problem with that is I'm not prepared financially to go there yet. Anyways, uh, it's kind of a little bit of bad news. I'm gonna start seeing about getting a gig here and to make the money to be able to head down there. I was really stoked about this job. I know some people that are making really good money with it. Hey there guys, so I just got off of work and I'm about ready to edit up a video to post today before I go to bed. Um, I started doing the stuff from People Ready Again on an app called Jobstack. Really quick before I go ahead and crash, I need a referral for a shop that does basically puts on the brackets for like 
Blue Ox flat toe setups. If anybody has a referral for me in the Quarter Lane, Idaho area, or even Spokane, I'd really appreciate it. Get out there, connect with people, live your big story, and make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck. Peace, guys.